Tottenham underwhelmed once again in their North London Derby defeat. Tottenham struggled to launch one of their trademark second-half comebacks as they were beaten 2-0 by Arsenal in the North London Derby. Antonio Conte's side underwhelmed in the defeat at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and the Italian might argue that this display gives credence to his demand for a January overhaul. Express Sport picks out Spurs' five poorest performers from Sunday afternoon. Hugo Lloris. Arsenal were gifted the lead by Hugo Lloris in the 14th minute. Bukayo Saka's cross deflected goalwards via Ryan Sessegnon, and Lloris simply palmed the ball upwards and over the line. It was the kind of error that cannot be forgiven so early in a derby. Lloris also has a history of similar mistakes in big games, but this might have been his biggest. The early goal gave Arsenal the confidence to dominate the first half and they eventually took a two-goal lead into half-time thanks to Martin Odegaard's long-range strike. There was plenty of excitement about the battle between Ryan Sessegnon and Bukayo Saka before the game. But Sessegnon was well beaten by the Arsenal star, with Saka's success on the right key to his side's victory. Saka got around Sessegnon too easily to set up the first goal. The winger's cross came off the wing back as it headed towards Lloris before the Frenchman's error. To make things worse, Sessegnon missed two excellent chances in the second half as Spurs chased a comeback. He struck straight at Aaron Ramsdale after being put through on goal by Harry Kane before timing one volley so badly that it looped towards the corner flag and stayed in play. Matt Doherty. If Sessegnon struggled against Saka, then fellow fullback Matt Doherty also had a difficult time against the other Arsenal winger, Gabriel Martinelli. Arsenal kept their wide men high up the pitch, limiting the amount Spurs wing backs could push forwards. Martinelli had the better of Doherty in most of their duels and the Irishman was unable to contribute in attack. Christian Romero. It remains a mystery how Christian Romero survived the entire game. The Argentine was booked for a desperate lunge in the first half and really should have been sent off when he wiped out Granit Xhaka midway through the second period.